Hello again, lovely people. Welcome back to the channel. Um, during my walking gait programming, I've definitely noticed that the legs are just too weak, so we're going to test out my shoulder design with the help of Jordan to make it a little more sleek and streamlined looking. Uh, there is another shoulder design that's out there that Eric Ninja over on Discord put together. And that looks pretty cool too. It uses bigger bearings. He modified this piece here to hold a bigger bearing. And that's what takes most of the weight. In my case, I didn't modify this joint here except to modify this little pocket here with a couple of screw holes in it, which takes this tab on our shoulder that just fits in like that. And throw a bolt through there and a bolt through there. Um, I've test fitted all this and honestly I don't I'm not even gonna put nuts on the end of my bolts because it would be a little tricky this one wouldn't be so bad in here but the one through here I just don't have a bolt long enough to go all the way through unfortunately which I'm sure I can get but you know me guys I like to just work my way through it so that one's just long enough if I countersink the head and then if I countersunk the nut I'd be able to do it but honestly, when I put it together, I really don't even see a need for a nut. It fits so straight. This is more of a, just a pin than a screw. There's not going to be any lateral force enough to, to dislodge this bolt, I doubt. If I have a problem, well, that's my fault for taking the easy way out. So you guys may want to use a longer bolt that makes it through that you could put a nut on or embed your nut there. Honestly, that's one thing I wanted to mention too. I'm tired of the whole embedded nut game. Uh, if anybody has a better idea or a better design or possibly the original models, the slots that he left for the nuts just aren't, it should be a snug fit, right? But it's very tough. Let me show, see if I could show this. And come on, focus. Yeah, it's hard to see, but those slots that the nuts go into are just too tight. You need to heat them up and use a soldering iron to push them in to embed them. But yeah, it's a pain in the butt, guys. I'd rather not do that anymore. So if anybody has a better idea, I mean, in some cases, like this case here, we could just drive the nut all the way through and put a nut on the back. I see no problem with that. And here may be too thick. So yeah, something to think about for the future. I want this, this leg, for example, takes nine embedded nuts to do it. So nine times four, and then there's others in the body and the chassis. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of you are cursing that design choice. But it wasn't mine. <laughs> All right, so I'm probably going to time lapse this. These are the new parts. Let me just finish reviewing that. So yes, the, the shoulder piece, the coax, I just put a slot in there and a couple of holes to accept the new shoulder tab. And then the shoulder tab has this slot here that the wires come up through and a pin on the back, which is going to go in the new bearing, which I've modified the mid arm cover here to have a little bearing seat here. So that goes like that and then the shoulder goes over the top and out the back of that let's just see if i could quickly assemble this half fast for you all okay and then again this tab we don't need that piece right now that tab fits right in the coax tab and then obviously the motor's in the place so that's how this, this shoulder goes and you can see where the bearing is on this that should definitely tighten up this joint because that is the one weak spot as far as the motor joints go, which I think I could show you here on Nova after I've been using her and walking around a bit. See that play? That's all in that shoulder joint and there's nothing you can do about it. But jam in that screw and then you'll never get it off. This one's not so bad, but when you have, let's see if I can hold this still. You have that much play Hell, oh, guys, that's a good 15, 20 millimeters. That really makes the walking gates difficult to keep her balance and such. There's just too much shaking going on and too much play in the legs. So I unfortunately have to do this. Not unfortunately, I guess. It's a great upgrade. Um, and once I have this together, we'll be able to compare it with Eric's design and see which one is the most stable and strongest. And you guys can choose which you want to use from there. But I definitely suggest doing it. And yes, it's a pain in the butt to have to take off all the legs, but with a lot of the design changes we've made along the way, it shouldn't be too bad. For example, 
with our cool new JST connectors. It's oh, dummy cross didn't use one there, so I should have disconnected them from here. But anyway, it's fairly easy to disconnect the head and get it out of your way and such. So, all right, so let's time lapse this. I'm going to assemble this when I get to assembling the shoulder part. I'll probably take it out of time lapse, but I won't bore you with Nova's disassembly. So I'm just going to do one leg on, on video, this left front leg here, and then the, the rest obviously follows suit and out of the same. Okay, so this is the reason why, one of the reasons why I do not like these embedded nuts. So I have a problem now with this one here. The nut is slipping. So there's no easy solution to this, guys. I'm actually going to try and pull it off without taking that screw out right now. I think I can open this up enough to get my motor out. However, a couple of solutions for you. Um, I can't really zoom in on this. Sorry. Let's use this one here as an example. So if that nut was spinning, what you can do is heat the nut up again a little bit. And then take some sort of tool and crush the plastic around it, which will again hold it tight. Uh, another solution, if you can get away with it, is get yourself a tiny screwdriver and try and wedge it into the nut and hold it in place and then try and undo it. But yes, that's one of the design flaws of those embedded nuts that I do not like. So, okay, back to disassembly. All right guys, so what I'm going to do is, I'm pretty sure I moved my servo, so I was not paying attention, you should. So before you do this project, put Nova into her home position with all of her legs, and then maybe even put a little tape or something on each of the joints so you can remember the exact angle. Otherwise you'll have to do what I'm about to do, which is boot her up in pieces, <laughs> let all the servos home themselves, and then assemble. So I actually have to pull down my power supply here. Give me a second. And I'm going to lift her up just so her other legs don't cause any chaos. themselves all right so now we're homed so now I can safely disconnect her again and now the other three legs I don't care about because I'm not doing them right now I'm just gonna do this first leg so I can just go ahead and sit her back down But now I know that my three servos are all homed properly, okay? 
So now the trick is to assemble it in the proper angle, or at least approximate angle. And I know that to be 90 degrees here. And then, yes, of course, we can calibrate and adjust that later. Okay, back to time lapse. And I failed again, guys. <laughs> Shit. Because now my wire can't go through the chase. Well, for the sake of this video, I'm going to leave it out of the chase for now. See how it performs. It may be a problem. It may not be. but I think it's going to give us a whole lot more power. Just for the heck of it, let's go ahead and boot her up again. Connect the power here.
sure my calibration is off, but let's see how it moves regardless. Oh yeah. Oh guys, there's like zero play there now. Oh, that's awesome. Nothing. And it shouldn't loosen up as it did with the other one. So somehow I got my tibia completely off. <laughs> the one motor that I didn't remove from its part. But that would be easy enough to fix. And yeah, my femur's a little off, but I could fix that in code as well. I'm going to disassemble it anyway to reroute my wire under there. But there we go, guys. There's a new shoulder. So once I get all four of them on and get her back on the ground, I'll show you where I'm at with walking gates because it should be a little more stable once these shoulders are all in place and running. It doesn't look bad either. Thanks, Jordan. I mean, my, my initial design was a little more, let's say, uh, circular and arky at the top. Arky. That's not a word. But um, Jordan did a nice job in sleeking it up for me, for us. All right, guys, so yeah, let me get that assembled, and hopefully tomorrow morning I will make another video for you all with all four legs and her back on the ground and show off the gates and where I'm at with the remote, which is pretty much done. Just those damn pots are still driving me nuts. But otherwise, good to go. All right, boys and girls, thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you hopefully tomorrow.